California is outpacing its own ambitious goal for renewable energy. It turns out we could get to the 50% mark as soon as 2020. That would be 10 years ahead of schedule. KPX 5's Kit Doe on the forces at work that are driving a green energy future. This is certainly good news for California, but 10 years ahead of schedule, how did we get to this point? Well, it turns out when the power companies were investing in these renewable energy projects, they did a couple of extra ones thinking that some of them might fail. Well, it turns out they didn't. To see for ourselves, we took a cruise around the Altamont Pass, and up here it is wind farms for days, as far as Sky Drone 5 can see. California has made a massive investment in renewable energy, and it's finally paying off. The state has issued its 60 page annual report, which shows California's renewable energy capacity has sharply increased 40 fold over the past decade to now 15,000 megawatts. As a result, the state's three largest utilities have steadily increased their percentage of energy from renewable sources, now forecasted to hit 50% by the year 2020. That's a full decade earlier than required by law. Were you surprised at all? I was. Well, I was surprised in the sense that I didn't realize it was going so fast. Stanford professor Mark Jacobson has made it his life's work to push for renewable energy. He says as large storage batteries get cheaper, power plants that emit greenhouse gases will go the way of, yeah, the dinosaur. And 100% renewable energy will very likely happen within our lifetime. You don't need uh, fossil fuels, you don't like coal or natural gas for backup anymore because solar has come down in cost, uh, batteries are coming down significantly as well, and when they're combined together, they're actually very efficient at providing electricity. And speaking of cost, that report has one more notable stat. The past decade has seen a dramatic drop in the cost of producing all that renewable energy. Utility scale wind prices are down 47 percent. Solar prices are down 77 percent. So what does that mean for your monthly power bill? The cost will come down. Whether the utilities actually reduce their prices correspondingly, and that's a different story, but the cost of the energy definitely will come down. PG&E issued this statement that says, in part, we stand ready to help the state reach its ambitious clean energy goals in a way that manages costs for our customers, ensures electric reliability and gas safety that they expect and deserve. Along the Altamont Pass, Kit Doe, KPIX5.